Welcome to Best Car Fixes. This is Muhammad Harun Idris. Please subscribe, share, and like. 2011 Nissan Murano. We have a code of air fullometer sensor keep coming all the time. And uh, they change a brand new one here. They change a brand new air fullometer sensor. I just want to explain it to you that this one here is uh, this connector here. The first connector is empty. This is the ignition wire. This is the sensor uh, ground, and this is the sensor uh, references. That means right now it is zero references. If I start the car, it will go and from like from zero, based on the, the, the reading here, based on the air input. Here you see, right now I'm scoping it, and here it show you, number one is not used, second ignition, mass sensor ground and the mass signal this signal here we're gonna try to start the car and I show you what's going on we change this computer new I mean we change the sensor new one we change the sensor with a new one but it's still after and we program the computer it's still also after a couple of you see the, the sensor it's still after a couple of days the code come now, if I go to the diagnose here, I'm using um, virus, and if I go to Nissan, automatic, continue, I hear the, the, the interface, this is Snap-on. I just want to show you the data, how much reading is. But it's still after the air volumeter sensor was replaced. Um, all the service was being done. I'm, I'm calling the system. Here is the VIN number. I will say OK. Now, I just go to engine. Codes. You see now air perimeter sensor and also I have a transmission code. So you see those codes, system tooling, intake temperature sensor circuit high because I disconnected. But also the transmission have the code, we have code on the transmission. I gotta go back. Mm, go back again. Yes. I wanna check the transmission. Code. Engine speed signal, secondary pressure shut down, transmission also we have a code. Let me Hello. That's your car? No. Nope. Okay, welcome. You have something for us? Yeah. Let him take it. Maybe one of let me call him for you. Let me call him for you, not me. Let me call maybe one of them. <coughs> what part is it? The front pipe and the rear pipe. I want to make sure I try to take it out. That's why I say. What 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 car is it? Nissan 16. Okay. That's maybe for you. Minus and V200. The same thing, yeah. Those pipe, right? Hold on, let me let me ask. Hold on, hold. Awab, you order something? MV 2016 or something? Pipe? Yeah, they they are here. Check that. Check the boys there and here. Yes, sir. This is this is here. This yeah. thing here. This mm -hmm. is what given the problem. The fuse box. Yeah, you didn't even open it. So. This fuse box. So they say this is the one that's giving trouble. Yeah, you say that's the giving trouble. If this is the piece that's giving problem, yeah. this piece have to be replaced. The whole thing? Yeah. Wow. If this is the piece, this is called fuse box, junction box. If this is the piece, yeah. 
Well, you can check it. You can do your own check in. Yeah, I can't. I can't check it now to check it. But if you want me to, I diagnose it, look at it. But if they like bunch of problem for no reason, is they coming? Or if there is any diagnosis that the light coming, we're gonna do it when the car is cooled down. Yeah. We look at it, we evaluate it, and if it need to be replaced, we look for it. If it's available, we buy it. The only thing I'm not sure if this is piece coming connected from the back or the whole harness. So, so you bring the car for us. The day organized yourself like you did it in the morning time or you leave it here like in the evening I, in the morning time when everything is cold i check it out look if there's any code and that piece if you need to be replaced if he tell you that the piece need to be replaced yeah. we're gonna buy a new one or we order it yeah so you could, you could i mean to be sure you could do your diagnostic you could, you could check it out you yeah sure? you already you have somebody who diagnosed it right so if you want me to take care of that one to re-diagnose it again, you bring me the car early in the morning, leave it for me here, I'm gonna spend some time on it. Alright, so because you live not far from here, right? I you don't live far. Parking. Yeah, okay. So you know what? If it needs to be replaced, replace it. Yeah, but I can't do it like just like that. I gotta you gotta bring bring me the car, mm -hmm. look at it, diagnose it, confirm it, then I order it. Yeah. I don't know how long it takes. Right. If it take one day or two day or three days to come, I let you know so you order, you bring it, you understand? Yeah. And you leave it for us or we order it when the part come. Yeah. And then we take it there. So what about if I need it now? I can't take it now. Look, I have double park. Okay. So you want to bring it in the morning? Bring it in the morning, I have time at this spend time. We open here like nine o'clock is okay. okay eight thirty, nine o'clock. Uh, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. You wait when this guy leaves, you can yes. go. Right. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mahmoud. I'm gonna clear the code for the transmission. Continue, code only. I don't have nothing in the transmission. I just wanna go back to show you what is the reading of engine. All these codes. I'm gonna clear those codes first and show you what happened Quotes. No quote, but let me go to data now. Data. I idle on throttle. You see here. Pressure, battery, air secondary, mass air volumeter. This is a mass air volumeter sensor. This is a reading of the mass air volumeter sensor now. It's supposed to be in constant. Now it's in four. It go to four point something because I have AC working. I stop AC. You see now that it's three point something. Now let's see the reading on the scope. As, is, as, as I told you, this is a crankshaft, this is a air volumeter sensor reading. And if you notice here, we have one over one point something. If you give gas, it may be more. But still, we look all over, we check it. What do you need to do on this car? Do a visual inspection and they say also in this area here in this area here they say check if there is any leak visually check it but most of the time look here check here you see here see the car you see car shadow you see my hand you see and you see there what happened this is the reading change and the reason why is because the boot is broke. You cannot look at it well, but look at it. Look here. 
the boot is broke. So it suck air outside there and create problem. You see? The car shut off now, you see? We don't need that one. You see here? Yeah, that's the problem of this car. Even everything was changed, so that's the issue here. So we're gonna take this one out. We're gonna take this one out. We're gonna change it. This is no reading here. We're gonna change that piece, the boot piece here, between here and here. We don't need no air. And uh, we're good to go. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. And see you in another video. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.